DNA in each one of your cells is just 2 nanometers across, but around 30 to 40 million nanometers long. To keep DNA organized and regulate access to the genetic code, it is wrapped around structural proteins to form nucleosomes, which are then further organized into fibers called chromatin. The chromatin fibers are packaged into gigantic molecular structures called chromosomes. We are now pulling away from a chromosome, out through a nuclear pore, which is a gateway through the nuclear membrane. We are zooming back to reveal a cell about to undergo mitosis. The nuclear membrane breaks down, releasing the chromosomes. The chromosomes are arranged in the middle of the cell before being pulled apart with identical sets of DNA going to each side. The cell then splits down the middle, creating two new daughter cells. This visualization isolates a single chromosome at mitosis. The chromosome contains two identical copies of DNA. Each DNA molecule is packaged up into one of the sausage-shaped chromatids. Sticking out from either side are microtubule fibers from the mitotic spindle used for orienting and guiding the chromosomes to their correct positions. The red region is the kinetochore, which works as the interface between the microtubules and the chromosome. The kinetochore is one of the largest and most complex molecular mechanisms inside living cells, with multiple functions to perform. The kinetochore is central to the movement of the chromosomes, and is able to hang on to the dynamic ends of the microtubules. It is also a mechanical tension sensing system, which is able to feel if everything is correctly attached and positioned. It is also a stop signal broadcasting system, sending out chemical signals to the rest of the cell about whether it is ready to undergo separation of the chromosomes. This kinetochore has sensed that the tension is just right and the chromosome is correctly positioned and attached. The last little bit remaining red is the stop signal broadcasting system. It is carried away by a dynein motor, walking down the microtubule away from the kinetochore. These are molecular motors involved with a directed transport along the mitotic spindle. The orange proteins walking to the left are kinesins, molecular motors carrying proteins on their back. Striding from the kinetochore on long molecular legs are dynein, carrying the stop signal broadcasting system. When all the kinetochores are ready, the cell transitions into the anaphase stage, with the chromatids pulled apart to the opposite poles of the cell. The mechanisms of life simulated through supercomputers. We are inside a cell in a special part called the nucleus. Here we see some DNA, which is encoded with genetic information, including genes, the blueprints of cells. 
the motions of a vast number of water molecules have been calculated as well to accurately simulate the behavior of molecules inside the cell. DNA is like a long string composed of a double-stranded helix folded into very compact structures in the cell nucleus. The center of each of these structures is composed of a protein called histone. Each center consists of eight proteins, two copies each of four types of histones. Researchers have been working hard to understand their roles. This structural unit, formed by DNA wrapped around the histone proteins, is called a nucleosome. By treating multiple atoms as one single particle, we can increase the number of phenomena in our simulation. Human DNA measures about two meters in length, but it can fit in a tiny nucleus of only 10 micrometers in diameter by forming a fiber of packed nucleosomes called chromatin. For the genetic information to be read, the DNA has to be unwrapped from the histones. K-Computer has made it possible, for the first time ever, to calculate the force required at the atomic level to unwrap the DNA. It is also known that changes in histone state can alter DNA fluctuation. Histones have unstructured, flexible regions. These are called histone tails. When the histone tails undergo chemical modifications, such as acetylation, the structure of the nucleosome changes. For instance, we know that acetylation of specific parts of the histone tails loosens the chromatin structure, making the nucleosomes less tightly packed. The DNA has to unwrap from the histone proteins to allow other proteins to read its genetic information. Here, the tumor suppressor protein, called P53, is about to bind to the DNA. When the DNA is unwrapped, P53 can move along the DNA and read its genetic information. Chemical modifications, such as acetylation and differences in chromatin structure, affect the reading of the genetic information. This allows various cells and tissues, such as red blood cells and nerves, to be generated from the same DNA. The study of the mechanisms by which genes are turned on or off without changes in the underlying DNA sequence is called epigenetics. Studies using supercomputers to simulate the motions and shapes of molecules will contribute to the development of new drugs and research on regenerative medicine, leading us into an exciting new era.